everybody, this is Andre with Garage Door Guidance again. Uh, just got another video for you today on how to replace the complete trolley. So I know I made a video earlier about how to just change out this part, uh, which is super easy, just slides right off of the darn rail. Super easy there, but this part takes quite a bit more work to replace this. And sometimes it gets chewed up on the sides and it comes off or breaks off, the metal gets brittle, stuff like that. So that's why you might need to replace that part. So I just wanted to show you how to replace this whole mechanism. And uh, just for the sake of making it easier, I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove this part and just have it off to the side. That way we can just focus on replacing this part because uh, that part is super easy to do. Tools you'll need are a flathead screwdriver, a half inch socket wrench, or you can have it on an impact gun as well. Uh, same thing, you need a 9 16th wrench or a 9 16th socket. Um, I use a combination of all of them. So, I mean, you guys just choose what you what works best for you. So, first thing we need to do is uh, loosen the tension on the chain so that this part is uh, just kind of free to move around. And the way you do that is uh, you take off this nut and bolt here. So I already have it sort of loose, and so what I like to do is just kind of put this down on my impact gun. And you see it comes off pretty easily. So now you can see that just kind of dropped down all the tension. So now this whole part moves back and forth fairly easily. Next, what you want to do is remove this part of the chain. There's this top part. That's the bottom. There's this top part that's kind of clipped in. I like to put my flathead screwdriver here, just kind of twist the flathead, see how it kind of expands that, and do a twist and push motion. That way it just kind of pops right out like that. So you see that's the second part, and I just, you know, magnetic screwdriver. But that comes off. Then you have this other part of the link. Looks something like that. And now your chain is loose. So now that just comes right off, voila. So now that's free, and we'll just go ahead and take off the rest of that. So now we move on to the front of the garage door opener. And over in the front, we have um, just a little pulley piece that we need to remove. And so we'll go do that in a second. I uh, did want to just say real quick, uh, I do have the parts listed in the description below. So I'll have the carriage uh, with the trolley and I will also have the plastic pulley on the end as well if you need to replace that. Sometimes they crack or break so the plastic pulley on the end will also be linked below as well as our garage door guidance parts page where you can buy all kinds of parts uh, for your garage door. So now that we're at the front of the garage door opener um, you see this is where you normally have it attached to the header above the garage. And so you see this trolley part is still free. I'm ready to remove it, but I've got two obstacles in my way. Number one, I've got this little guy here, which is not a big deal. You can just hammer that back down. So I've hammered that back down. Now it's free to move past it, but again, runs into the darn plastic pulley. So the plastic pulley also needs to be removed. So oh, you've got a 916 nut and bolt right there, which I, that's the only thing pretty much left in your way. So just get your 916. So you remove that bolt. Push up on the whole nut there. And voila. There's your bolt and a little washer along with the nut that's gone. Plastic pulley removed. And so now you can feed this little cable. Just take that cable through there. That's removed. And so now, obviously, you want to remove it from the header there. And so that way you lift up, you can lift up this rail as you see fit, you know, however much room you need, you can go side to side. Um, so that way you have enough room to slide this piece out. It's okay if back there you have the, um, 
angle iron bending a little bit. That's okay. It's uh, pretty sturdy. So this part you just remove. That's the carriage on the Chamberlain pre-bought openers, the ones from Home Depot. That's the carriage on them. Typically, this will be found on the Chamberlain chain drives or the Chamberlain belt drives. And so that's the part if you need it. If that's the one you need to replace, that's how you do it. You just remove that. Now to do that, to put the new part on, put it back into place. So you just grab that part, make sure it's lined up the right way. Slide that on there. Obviously you wanna put the new one in. And so you wanna make sure that this, uh, this part is for the chain link um, with the, that it, that's attached to the cable. And then this side is for the part that has the nut and bolts. The actual chain connects to this end. So you wanna make sure that you have a little circle on this side and a little flat part on the other side. So we'll just put that back on. So we slid that piece on, that piece is good to go. Now you gotta make sure you have your cable back the way you need it. And let me just put this back on its side the way it should be. So now that I have that back how it's supposed to be, obviously you'll be looking at a different point of view, but the uh, idea is the same. So you take the cable first, run it through. So the cable is through that. Now you take your plastic pulley, put it back onto the little cable here. Make sure that it kind of wraps, in, you know, goes into that pulley. And just pop the big bolt through. And you don't gotta worry about that cable. You don't have to worry about the cable sliding into that uh, little spot just yet. It's not a huge deal. Uh, take that nut and washer those back in so now that's in place tighten that up attach it back to the header and you're back in business so now that I have it back up in the same spot I started at what I'm gonna do first is attach the cable end and that just goes by have a little chain link here that's that part there put that through the cable I mean putting that through the chain first you got these other two parts we'll put on second. And that goes in right there. So see that? Now you have the two little ends sticking up. So that little closed chain link right there, that closed piece will go next. And then you got the little clip here. Now the clip is a little tricky sometimes. i mess with it a little bit. in place. Next step, put the chain back on. So this whole time I kept my chain in the same exact position um, just because it makes it easier. You don't have to worry about having to reset limits afterwards but the point of this video is just to show you how to replace it if you need to. So now you just take that end with the nut and bolt. The washer goes first so you put that on first. Slide this through kind of holding that with my finger there and obviously put the second half inch bolt on so now that's all put back together now you just tighten it back up with your wrench or your um, or your impact gun which I have here whichever you decide I do the impact gun because it's faster but um, again just make sure that your cable doesn't come out of the loop down at the little uh, plastic part at the end there. Because if it does, you have to you have to loosen that again, make sure it is in the loop, and then tighten it back up. Obviously, that's all back in place. You do want to put your trolley part back on. So again, that's just super easy. Just kind of slides up like that. Now let me get you a better view of that. So you see, it, it sits this way. To put it on, just go up like that and twist it, voila. Activate the little trigger. 
and click it in. There you go. So that's pretty much it in terms of how to replace that trolley and carriage. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comment section below. I just wanna say thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. That way you stay up to date on all my repair videos. I will see you guys in the next video.